I was wondering when you'd come, Jack the Ripper. No one calls me that anymore. Dolsayev, where is he? I can show you a better time than that crusty old bear. You're in charge here? I am Mistral. The cold wind of France. And you, your reputation precedes you. Liberian, but white as snow. A natural born killer, even as a child. That was a long time ago. I was born in Algeria myself, you know? I'm only half French. And? We had our own civil war in the 90s. So you see? Cut from the same cloth, you and I. You don't know me. I lost my whole family. Everything. <sighs> but I butchered those fuckers. What? My family's killers. That's when I realized I am a killer too. And a good one at that. I slaughtered dozens in Iraq. In Afghanistan. I'd found my calling. Proud of that, are you? What happened, happened. To be honest, I found it quite dull. My enemies fell like domino. One after another, not once did I feel threatened. I was adrift, without challenge, without purpose. At times, I even envied my prey. At least they had a cause to die for. And then, I met him. Who? And I knew what I had been missing. His ideals gave my life meaning. Ideals, Jack. What are yours? I... protect the weak. <laughs> Still? So naive. And if I must kill to protect them, then so be it. Hmm. It seems we have less in common than I thought. I'll take that as a compliment. If you would kill for your ideals, then surely you are ready to die for them. Stop faking it, bitch! of hers has impressive range. She can defend with it and yet crack like whip to attack. Yeah, it's bizarre. Definitely suits her. It does not work like anything I have seen before. I cannot tell where her attack will land. And even if you manage to parry, it may be hard to counterattack. Yeah, I need to take care of that thing first. When you see it go slack, be ready. If it hits, you have no chance of countering. Right, you all right? That is one freaky lady. Yikes. Aw, oh, come on, Kev. Maybe she just needs to meet the right guy. I could slip her your number. <laughs> That's okay, man. I'm good. Besides, shouldn't you be worried about saving your own ass at the moment? Well, yeah. Just thinking about how I'm gonna handle this. If you're looking for advice, try hitting up Boris. Doctor might have some info, too. From the UG and Cyborg angle. Aren't you in the same damn room as Boris? Like, really? Did, did you not pay attention? Fucking Kevin. She's so cruel the way she stomps on those tripods. Just tosses them around. I feel so sorry for those little guys. You feel sorry for robots sent to kill me? Well, I mean, they're kind of cute, right? How they scamper around. They're like little mice. Yeah, and you mice deserve cute. to be stomped. I call it creepy. Not at all. 
Trust me, ask any girl and they'll say the exact same thing. <laughs> okay, sure, Courtney. I'll get right on that. All right, whatever. You want to save or what? Nah, it's good. I got checkpoints. All right. Be careful out there, okay? And see you later. Hmm. So she uses an augmentary arm composed of tripods. I cannot imagine how she controls such a thing all on her own, but it is quite intriguing. Stay with me here, Doc. I need to destroy it, not study it. Yes, but just look at it. How it doubles as a weapon. So elegant, so efficient. She can twist its joints and crack it like a whip, or pull it tight to lock it solid. And even should you destroy it, she can simply construct a new one using nearby tripods. Ugh, this is gonna take forever. Not necessarily. Until a new prosthesis is formed, she is defenseless, you know. There is your chance. Of course, you must still be wary of the tripod arm unit once it is detached. Even if she cannot wield it, she could resort to throwing it at you. Oh, the electrolytes dear. in the fuel cells of those units are highly explosive should they have a detonator. Okay, first things first, we've got to get rid of these dwarf geckos, and I think a grenade sandwich will do just the trick. Ah, oh, your staff is done already? I'll take it. That's it. We need air combos, and we need lots of them. Oh, you know it, baby. You know it. <laughs> Look at that. It's all done already. All right. That's what I'm talking about. Ah, oh, running away already? All right. I've got something special for you, too. Uh, never mind. I ran into an exploding barrel. No! Mash butt! Oh, uh, uh, I don't think mashing buttons going to do anything. Oh, no, no! Oh, oh, I almost wasn't ready for that. Surprise bitch kick to the back! Ooh, ooh, bonsai drop! Bonsai drop! Damn it, Ryan! Yeah, I, I doubt it. You're not doing a very good job, that's for sure. Oh, what the hell? Oh, damn, that was a four hitter. Wasn't ready for that. Yeah, I'd like to see you try. Oh, yep, yeah, yeah, well, maybe. Oh, the bad grenade tosses. That's not good. Ha <laughs> Nice try. Perfect parry. Hey, get away from the exploding barrel. Okay. Yeah, I do love farming combos. Stop running away! Oh no. That, yeah, I should probably stay away from that. Whew, that was close. No! Damn it, I tried to dodge! 
Oh, I just guess it doesn't really matter. Getting a haircut out of this one, that's for sure. Oh! Oh, cutesy. I'm, oh, I'm ready for button mashing now! Backhand bit slap. I am gonna do what I damn well please. And you aren't gonna be able to do anything about it! Now, uh, Destroyed is putting it lightly. And one more for good measure. Mister, report! Your vitals are dropping. I lost. So this is how they felt. What? Dying. Great. No, hold on. I am sorry. He was too much. I do not need apology. I need you alive. But I know you will never fall. What? What is this talk about? The Tim. The Tim won't go. Jetel, Mister, you've never. She's not talking to you, idiot. You, you killed her. You play your nuts, murderer. That's rich coming from you. It's over, Josiah. Surrender. I did report so good. Translation. <laughs> Why would I surrender? We are exactly where I want. Shit. Built with Russian money to make Russian money. It is no plan for Abkhaz. It is their prison. <gasps> but now they will be free. Up. I see. Time to get you out of there. We're sending a helicopter. Secure an LZ. Understood. What? I mi oh, that's a pain in the ass. Yeah, one of the things that kind of sucks with, like, these chapter ranks is, like, if you don't know where one of the fights is, like, if you miss one, I maybe I got it on the first time around, maybe I fucked up because I sped through it the second time. It's like, that will absolutely neuter your combat rank. But, yeah. <laughs> All it takes is one bad grade to drag down the rest. It's true. It's true. It's damn true. Oh, well. At least I did better on the boss fight the second time around. First time was bad, so uh, <laughs> hope you guys appreciate the effort. I hope. But a fancy new pole arm and a whole lot of BP for upgrades, uh, maybe things will definitely work out. Customize? Hell yeah, I got a whole lot of points. Let's see, can I upgrade the sword? Nope, no upgrades. I will upgrade this uh, unique weapon though. Pole arm. L'étranger! Probably butchered that, but whatever. Enhance, enhance, enhance. Yes, yes, yes. There is plenty to go around. I got it. Do I got life? Nope, still don't have any life. Damn it. 
I am gonna be so fucking stocked full of stuff. My god. Fallen Lightning. Yeah, sure, why not? Sweep Kick? Yeah, sure. Actually, wait, I don't think I can do that with the uh, pole arm equipped. Oh, yeah, I should equip it. Gotta remember to do that when you uh, do this stuff. Otherwise, you're gonna have to go through this loading screen again. lined up, right? Yep. All set. Hope so. You'd be a little conspicuous just walking the streets. Relax, Kev. I'll blend right in. Yeah. Well, <laughs> just get into the sewer system ASAP. Hopefully anyone who notices you will just mind their own business. You sure you want the K-9000 there along for this one? I had the good doctor make some adjustments along with the repairs. Remote piloting and AI wiping have been disabled. So yeah, I say let's throw them a bow. Wordplay. My exoskeleton resembles a canine. Canines enjoy bones. Amusing on two levels. Let's go. So much for the disguise. Did we really need a disguise to travel the grand total of like three feet? <laughs> really, what was the point of that? It's Raiden. I'm in the sewer system. All right, let's get started. Your mission's to investigate the Desperado Affiliated Research Center somewhere in that area. According to the intel from our client, the lab's been dumping illegal waste into those sewers. FYI, they're also involved with the cartels in human trafficking. Allegedly, anyway. <laughs> This just gets better and better. Tell me about it. We need you to infiltrate the lab and find out everything you can. Of course, you'll have to find it first. We still don't know the exact location. So I'm looking for anywhere the lab might hook up with the sewers? Yep. If they're actually dumping waste, they've got to link up somehow. Find that connection, sneak into the lab, and see if you can find evidence implicating them on anything. No problem. Stealth's my specialty. Right. Well, we'll see. Do we have any idea what kind of research they're doing there? Not really. Maybe something related to all the people they're trafficking. Like experimentation? It's possible. First things first, though. Find a way into that lab. Oh, right. It says here the locals say black crocodiles live in those sewers. So, you know, uh, watch out. <laughs> black crocodiles? Crocodiles? Could they be talking about UGs? Maybe just an urban legend. But still, be careful. I will scout ahead. You will provide backup. <laughs> sir, yes, sir. Commence operations. 